Well, we've had the results of the EU elections and it's a pretty resounding slap in the face for the political parties in favour of membership of the EU. OK, a low turnout, but how many of those who couldn't be bothered to vote didn't vote because they knew nothing could be changed? It doesn't matter how many people in the European Parliament in Brussels representing the United Kingdom wants us out of the EU, even if they all did. Uh, we, it, it hasn't got the, they haven't got the power to take us out. The only government that has got the power to take us out of the EU is the Westminster government. And you're not going to get that from Liberal, Democrat, Conservative or Labour governments. The Conservatives have said that they will have a referendum on the Lisbon Treaty if it hasn't already been ratified, knowing full well that by the time we get around to a general election, at which time it is likely there will be at the moment a Conservative victory, um, there will be no reason for them to hold a referendum, so they're empty words, because the, the, the Irish will have voted by then, and probably been bullied into voting yes. I think the next general election should be treated by us, you and me, the electorate, as the referendum that the other parties won't let us have. I think we should all vote for any candidate who we know is pledged to getting the UK out of the EU. That's mainly going to be UKIP candidates, but there will be others. And we should vote for them. If you had a UKIP majority in Westminster, which is, um, well, shooting for the moon perhaps, but if you did, well, the first thing they would do would be to repeal the 1972 European Communities Act to withdraw us from the Union. There you would have the result of your referendum and it would be put into practice. Because even if we had a referendum under any of the other parties and the people voted against the Lisbon Treaty, there would be an awful lot of gerrymandering and, pre and, and, and dithering and excuse finding for not actually following the real wish of the people, which is to get us out. And that's really what the referendum should be. So treat the next general election, whenever it happens, as the referendum that the other parties won't let you have.